Hello everybody. Um, it's Thursday, March 23rd, I think. Um, and I just left Camp Freedom 2. I was there to try to shoot a farewell video for Little Blue 2 and to give a final tour. Um, then it started raining and stuff. I don't know if you can see the back. You probably can't see out here on this video, but it's wet everywhere right now. And um, while I was heading out of the camp, I got a phone call from one of the um, people I had contacted about looking at their vans. I mentioned on that other video I was look, getting ready to go look at an Astro, but an ideal replacement for Little Blue 2 is actually um, either a Dodge Grand Caravan or a um, Town & Country because that's what this design of the van is based upon. But I had um, a lead on a um, 19, I think 98 Astro that I was about to look at today at about, you know, this evening. But then I just got a call from a guy, and it turns out he's a dealer, which I don't really like to deal with dealers, but, uh, you know, I got to follow up all leads and stuff. The, the vehicle that I'd seen was actually, um, I think it's a 2002 Dodge Grand Caravan, and if the pictures are correct, it actually looks like the same model, or at least the same color as Little Blue 2. So it's almost a direct replacement, except, you know, one year older. That thing has um, 200,000 miles on it, which is kind of high for these vehicles. But, um, you know, this one has like, what, 333,000 miles now? And um, as you can see, it's still running, but I've got issues. And, and the issue is, I think, you know, the misfiring, um, the or not non-firing, I don't know. All I know is it's eating up a lot of gas. I can watch the needle pretty much drop as I'm driving. I've only put 50 miles on it, and I have the tank full, and it's down less than a quarter which normally, um, when the van's running correctly, I get about 150, uh, about 130 to 150 miles before the um, needle would drop this low. So I'm getting like one half or one third of um, my gas MPG, my miles per gallon, which is why I'm looking to get rid of this vehicle. Um, we had discussed on a previous video about trying to um, replace the computer, I can buy like an aftermarket part online for roughly $200. Supposedly they'll program it, you know, with the VIN number, and then they should be plug and play. Um, that's the theory. Whether or not it would actually be plug and play would depend until, you know, I ordered it, it showed up, and I plugged it in. And then if it doesn't work, now what? You gotta send it back, if they'll even take it back. And, um,. There's just basically no guarantee. I've already sunk um, $450 into trying to fix this problem. And, you know, my plan was not to spend much more than $400. And um, with the, the um, auto mechanic shop repairing it, it's going to be over $900 more. That's $1,300 for this van, just on the repairs. That doesn't include all that I've sunk into it with um, uh, wheels, tires, and all the other expenses that I put out, the brakes and everything else that was done to this car. So, after much thought, you know, I've decided um, we're going to go ahead and retire a little blue too. So, let's jump forward to now. Um, I'm on my way to look at the dealership's um, Grand Caravan to see if it's going to be a suitable replacement. I can't remember exactly how much he wanted, but it was within my budget range or I might be able to knock it down a little bit. But I'm actually going to try to work out a special deal with him, and we'll see how it goes. Um, I may be able to trade in Little Blue. Use Little Blue, too, and they can use it as uh, components and stuff. And that might reduce the cost. And I'm going to try to push the um, YouTube angle and see if maybe they'll even give me a discount on it or a special deal. Yeah, uh, you know, because they're now part of the story. <laughs> so... We'll see what happens. I'm on my way there. I should be there in about 10, 15 more minutes. And um, we'll see what they say. We'll see how the van looks, how the van runs, and whether or not we can work out some kind of deal. And, you know, in a perfect world, um, they'll give it to me at a discount, you know, affordable, and let me work on the van over there to replace the components. So... If that happens, I'll do a segment on that, and you'll watch Little Blue 2 being dismantled and put into the Little Blue 3. 
course, I'll need to get insurance and everything set up for that, you know. But um, the chance for the tag and, and everything else. So we'll see what happens. Um, and of course, if that deal falls through, you know, I'm going to be going to look at the Astro later today. And I don't know. I'm, 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 if you've ever been vehicle hunting and stuff, you know it's stressful because you're like calling all these people, you're checking all these things out, and you're driving all over town back and forth. Like, I'm, I'm actually going all the way to Melbourne, and I was out at the compound, which is in Palm Bay, which is really, I mean, distance wise, it wouldn't seem that far, but it's like 10, 15 miles, you know. And with my car eating gasoline, it's just kind of expensive. So I'm headed over right now um, into Melbourne to the dealership um, and see if we can't work out a deal. So stay tuned, everybody. This is the dealership right here, and there's the other van. I don't know if you can see it back there, but um, sure enough, dealer tried to scam me again here and tried to. Well, he didn't really try to scam, but he's trying to make the back maximum money and all this other stuff. And I ended up not even um, checking out the other van because it looked almost exactly like this little current little blue. Same color, same discoloration and all that. He didn't want me filming, so I didn't film him and uh, the vehicle. But it's Galaxy Motors here in Melbourne. Um... He wanted like a thousand dollars plus dealer fees, like almost four hundred dollars. So it'd be like thirteen sixty or something total. And then he didn't want to do a deal with the trade. He says he they wouldn't be able to give me that much for it. He'd have to talk to the boss and all that. But they couldn't even offer me five hundred. I think I can get the vehicle scrapped for um, four to five hundred dollars. You know. Um, so for me, it's really not worth um, getting his van. So. We're back towards the Astro when the other guy contacts me tonight. Um, we'll see if I can't get into the Astro. I think it's going to be better to deal with a um, deal with the private seller versus dealing with the uh, dealership. So that was kind of a wasted trip right here. But this is what I mean about um, when you're trying to buy a vehicle or whatever. It's crazy because you have to keep running around back and forth, and then the vehicle's not what they said or whatever. And then, you're like, whoops. Sorry about that. Camera fell. Oh. You end up um, wasting your time, and you get annoyed. <laughs> I should have just told him as soon as he said he was a dealer, because he was listed as if he was a private seller. I should probably flag that ad, because I said I only wanted to see ads from um, private sellers, not dealers. And he's listing it as if he were a um, private seller. So I should just go ahead and... Um, I'll go ahead and flag it. I don't know. I'll flag the deal, flag the ad because he's a dealer and he's listing as a private guy. And then, you know, he's listing it at a thousand and he's wanting to check up four hundred dollars in tax tag registration and all these other fees. So um and actually it's a transfer. It's not gonna be what he's saying. He's saying it's four hundred, three hundred and sixty, three hundred and eighty dollars. I don't think it's that high. I transferred my vehicle before and it was like a hundred and sixty or something like that, hundred and eighty can't remember so I'll go ahead and check out the Astro and see what happens with that man this is kind of annoying <laughs> 